Hey Pixels! In this week's video, I will be showing you how to create a website mockup in Adobe Photoshop. Be sure to check out my blog, excelpixel.com, to get all the source files for this tutorial. Now, let's get started. Lately, I've been feeling my portfolio needs an update. I'm looking to design something that's minimalistic, sophisticated, and clean. I'll take you through my process of designing a mock-up of my new portfolio website so that you can create your very own website mock-up in Adobe Photoshop too. One of the first things that I usually do when I'm designing a mock-up is create some sort of style guide to see how harmonious basic elements like colors and fonts would look like on a page. Creating a style guide is ideal when designing a website. Style guides help both you and your client since you can make any changes to fonts and colors very easily without having to go through the process of designing the whole website and then making changes. The font that I will be using for my portfolio website is Proxima Nova. I love this font. I would describe it as classy and clean. If you're an Adobe CC subscriber, Proxima Nova is available to be synced to your computer via Typekit. If you're not an Adobe CC subscriber, another good substitute for this font would be Monsterat, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, via Google Fonts, although you can only choose from two font weights. Now that we have our style guide, let's go ahead and set up our document so that we can design our portfolio website. First, we need to use a grid system so that our design is structured, consistent, and visually appealing. The grid we will be using for this tutorial is called the 960 grid system. It's a free Photoshop action and it's available for download on their website. For my portfolio website, I'm going to use the 12 column grid. Click play and watch the magic happen. Since I plan on making this website responsive, I want to show more of what the site looks like outside of the 960 pixel overlay grid. So I'm going to make the canvas bigger by going into image, canvas size, select the top center as the anchor point and increase the width to 1220 pixels and the height to 1500 pixels. Since the final length of the website is unpredictable during the design process, you'll notice I'll adjust the length of the canvas throughout the tutorial. Also, be sure to create layer groups for each section as you go. This makes it a lot easier to find elements in the document. It's also in good practice to be organized when making designs with many layers. Now we can finally start the fun part. Let's start designing. As I've said before, I want the design for my portfolio to be minimalistic, sophisticated, and clean. Here's how I'll go about designing the portfolio. First, I'll design the header. Then the About Me section. Thirdly, we'll design a section to showcase my work. And lastly, the footer. Feel free to follow along because it's going to be super easy to make. First, we're going to work on the header. I'm going to place an image of a laptop which I feel best represents my portfolio since it's where all the magic happens. Then I'm going to draw a rectangle over it, add a layer mask, Fill it with the primary pink color and decrease its opacity to 97%. I want the image to show through ever so slightly. Now I'm just going to write my name in extra bold and align it to the center. Then I'll write my work title below it in a light font weight and center it. Now we're going to design the about section. I like to write a quick greeting for my website visitors. I'll write the heading in extra bold and use the secondary palette color which is a dark blue. I'm also going to write a little blurb in a light font weight. For now, I'll just use some lorem ipsum placeholder text and color it light grey. I'm also going to write a contact me blurb in semi bold. I'll color the email address with a primary pink color to signify that it's a link and not just regular text. So we finished the header and about me section. Wasn't that super easy? Now all we have left to do is the work section and the footer. Starting with the work section, let's add a header titled work using the extra bold font weight and secondary blue color. 
We're going to make four separate sections where we'll place each portfolio item. Each portfolio item section consists of an image on one side and a description on the other. To do this, draw a white rectangle as wide as the grid overlay, which is 960 pixels wide. Draw another white rectangle so that it's exactly half the width of the original white rectangle or 480 pixels wide. We're going to place an image with the help of this rectangle. To do this, go to File, Embed, and select the image of your choice. The image isn't the exact dimensions as the rectangle I drew. To make it the same dimensions, select the image in the Layers panel, control and click the rectangle's thumbnail, go to the bottom of the layer panel, and click Add Layer Mask. This will hide any part of the image that doesn't fit into the square that we've just drawn. Note that we did the same steps to create the header background image as well. Now, the other half of the rectangle is where we'll put our content and description for the portfolio item. I'm going to put a heading with the same style as the heading for the section title. Then I'm going to draw a text box and add some placeholder text and color it light gray. I'm also going to add a large button by drawing a rectangle with no fill and a border that's three pixels. I'll place text within the button and I'll write view project. For the second portfolio section, I want to switch the placement of the image to the right and move the content to the left. Then I'm just going to duplicate both the left and right versions of the portfolio items so that there'll be a total of four sections. For the last section, I wanted to show what the button would look like when it was hovered over, if you will. So I filled the rectangle with the primary website pink color and changed its text to white. Lastly, we're going to design the footer. First, draw a full width rectangle. Now, we're going to add some credit to the left-hand side of the footer. We'll make the text 16 pixels and align it to the left edge of the grid overlay. We're also going to color it white, change its weight to medium, and set tracking to 25. Finally, we're going to add some social media links that's 20 pixels, change its color to white, set its weight to extra bold, and set tracking to 25. Well, that's it! If you've been following along, you've finished designing our classy, clean, sophisticated portfolio website in Adobe Photoshop. That was super easy. It didn't take long at all. Take what you've learned in this tutorial and apply it to your future design projects. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to ExoPixel for more great videos just like this one. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in next week's video.